Hello everyone, it's Dell Lead, and today we're doing something a little different from the norm for this channel. Today I'm going to be talking about tiny little CubeSats and some of the awesome stuff you can do with them using ham radio. So, a little background knowledge. There are these satellites that are specifically used for amateur radio operators. And these satellites, they're called AMSATs, or amateur satellites. And they're often either decommissioned satellites that have been used by the government and they've exceeded their warranty. They put them out of service, but they still have a working FM transceiver on them. And they can use those. Or they're amateur built and launched CubeSats that have just a very basic... Uh, radio transceiver on them. Now the satellite that I'm going to be talking about specifically in this video is called Fox 1B. Fox 1B was built by Vanderbilt University in cooperation with the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporation. It was launched on November 18th of 2017 from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Fox 1B is now sitting in a polar orbit with an inclination of 97.7 degrees and a perigee of 461.3 kilometers, apogee of 823.7 kilometers. To be clear, the word amateur often has a very negative connotation around it as someone who is unskilled at something, but this just isn't the case for amateur radio. Amateur in this context simply means that you are not operating a radio for profit. It has nothing to do with the skill level of the operator. But anyway, back to the satellite. FOX-1B is not only a satellite, but an amateur radio station that ham radio operators can tune into and use as a repeater in space. These amateur satellites work by retransmitting signals they receive from one ground station to any ground station within its line of sight, meaning the transmission of the first ground station can go way farther over the horizon to other stations that are much further away than it could normally reach directly, and vice versa. That makes these amateur satellites very useful tools for extending the range of an otherwise short-range radio. And amazingly enough, it takes very little power to talk to these satellites. You only need about a 5 watt handheld radio to communicate with the satellite in orbit around the Earth. For context, Voyager 1, which is the furthest object we have ever sent away from the Earth, and sits currently at the very edge of interstellar space, is equipped with a radio transceiver that only outputs 23 watts. So it's remarkably easy to get a radio signal into space. Now if you want to be able to send signals to one of these amateur satellites and bounce your signal off the satellite to other ground stations, you need at least a technician radio license. Now I personally don't have my license yet, but my father has his and he's also the vice president of his local radio club. So he and I got together and we were able to contact Fox 1B and receive other radio operators transmissions from hundreds of miles away. That device in my father's hand right there is what's called a Yagi. It's a highly directional antenna, so if we point it at the satellite, we're going to get a very strong signal from it. Do you want to try calling back to him? Or? What you just heard was the call sign of someone who was pinging the satellite we were listening to. We later found out that this guy lives in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, almost 400 miles away from where we were in Greensboro, North Carolina. And the radio we were using to listen to him normally has an effective range of only a few miles. Just like that, we managed to communicate with the satellite in orbit around the Earth with a $60 handheld radio off of Amazon and a homemade antenna. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely different from what I'm usually doing on the channel, but if you want to see more amateur satellite work, please subscribe to the channel. I'm currently working to get my technician license, and I'm going to be doing more satellite work in the future. So keep trying new things, and I will see you in the next video.